So in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of taking your rocket model in SketchUp and send it to Layout. And in Layout is when you're going to create the top, the front, the right side views, which are known as orthographic, and you will also be completing the isometric view. The dimensions that are going to be included on this drawing will also be used in the rocket model simulator activity. The rocket model simulator activity is going to request information about the rocket, such as the fin length, distance, the type of fin, the materials, the nose cone, uh, the body type, and the rocket engine. So you're going to need to know all that and putting together the layout will help you with that. Now that I have the model rocket open in SketchUp, this is my sample drawing, I will then be able to send it to layout. Before you do that, make sure that you have a rocket engine inside uh, of your rocket and basically you need to make sure that you follow the steps in the previous video tutorial in order to get the rocket engine inside. Now from here I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to send to layout and now this program we can minimize this, win uh, this window and SketchUp layout, the layout version will open and we will now have the model from SketchUp inserted into layout. So once layout opens we're going to set up the paper size which goes in, into our preferences. So it says open, I'm just going to hit open a while. Just going to go with open. So give me a nice piece of graph paper. We don't know what size it is, we'll change that later. Alright, so let's re-enlarge this. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and go to file. I'm going to go to document setup. Change the paper paper now needs, to, we're going to change the legal size because we're not actually going to be printing these, so legal will work. Legal size paper and the units were still in millimeters, so we're good. Hit close. Now we can move the rocket around anywhere we want just by clicking on it and dragging it. Once it's highlighted, you see the handles on the sides, we're going to go over to the sidebar here and we're going to go to SketchUp Model. We're going to change the ortho, click on the ortho button going to go to scale, full size, and from here we're going to go to vector and go to styles to get rid of the background and we can move this in place. Okay, so this is the side view and then we can do a top view as well. So I'm going to take the same, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to click on it and copy it so I can go to edit, copy, edit, paste. There's another copy of it right here. Now with this copy, I'm going to basically go back into the models and I'm change this one. So instead of standard view, we're going to go with the top view. Okay, so you're looking down on it. So I changed it to top view, everything else stays the same. Notice that this uh, sample does not have a launch lug attached to it, yours will. You can add the launch lug and it's not, or the launch lug is not going to make a difference. Okay, so you have the front or side view and you have your top view in your drawing. Now from here you're going to be ready to dimension. So to dimension you're going to take your dimensions. You click on the dimensions and once again we're going to go in and change the style just like we did with the bridge. So for the style we want them in the center. We're going to be setting it to millimeters. Decimal millimeters. The precision goes up to 0.1 so one uh, tenth of a millimeter. Okay, let's go ahead and then get started. So I'm going to go with an overall height first. And we'll have to move that in a little bit. Okay, so you see it's 172.9 millimeters. So I'm going to highlight everything, control A, and move it all over a little bit. Okay, so we have some more room to work. Some more dimensions here. Let's go ahead and get an entire width of the rocket. giving us some problems, so we'll zoom in. Still giving us some problems. That's better right there. 144 is the entire width. Then you can do the fins. It's easier to just come over here for the fins. Or just do this one right here, the top one. 
because they're all going to be the same. This one's 56.6 millimeters. Then the width of the fin, 4 millimeters. Okay. Uh, we can do the height of the nose cone. Bring that over. And we can do the height of the base. Bring that over. Let's try that again. Come to the middle here. And if the, the dimensions are, ha it seems to be an issue on the dimensions. So let's see if I click on everything here, go into SketchUp model again, change the view to front. That helps a little bit, as you can see. So I'm going to keep it as front. I can take some of these dimensions, change them up a little bit if I need to. So delete those, and we'll do a new dimension. That looks much better. All right, and there's your dimensions. You won't need a dimension for this part right here. Now, last one we need is this one from here to here. Okay. So we have each one. Then we can do angles, angular dimension. So we can do the dimension from here to here. That's not the angle we wanted. For the angles, you come right to the center, the center point, and go straight down to the mid middle of the one fin. You come over here, just go on the center point again, come to the middle of this fin, and you're given the 120 degrees. So you can go ahead and you can come to the next one. So start off in the middle, trace along to the middle of this fin right here, come back, and trace to the middle of this fin right here. 120 and you can bring that in wherever it needs to go so you know you're 120 then you can do the last one and there are your angles so that's everything that you would need at this time so we have the height of the nose cone we have the height of the base. Actually, that just seemed to disappear. So let's do that again. Oh, we're on an angle still. So linear. Okay. And there are your measurements that you need. The last thing you would need to do then is to put your name. Okay. So period, this is period three. Bechtel. Rocket. Okay. And that is it. That is the finished product. You can put the scale in there too if you wanted to. Like putting another box in there. So scale is one to one. So every millimeter will represent one millimeter on the final drawing. So file, save this copy. Save it to your uh, rocket folder that you've created in your H drive. Let's go in here, rockets. Entitle this period three. That's cool. My last name, rocket layout. And that is it. That is all you will need, and then you need to submit that once you're finished with it.